Yo, what it is, YouTube? It's your boy Nitz coming back with another video here today. The hottest rapper right now in South Florida, in my opinion, Boston Richie. I want to do a little vocal breakdown today and talk about how you could get that deep, dark, gritty trap sound that's been going wild lately. So today, my main goal with this video is I want to give some credit and some flowers to Boston Richie's uh, engineers. Um... If they do by any chance, if y'all boys see this video, man, go ahead and drop a comment down below. Or DM me on Instagram. I love to chop it up with y'all. So let's jump right into the vocal uh, breakdown. I'm going to play a little bit of the song so y'all can hear it. We're just going to break down the elements of the mix and how um, I feel like they're kind of reshaping the floor of the sound right now. So let me play it for y'all. Uh -huh. I blew that shit, but changed stingy. You can slide around with Boston if your top different. Every time I turn around, they say I'm right, missing. Wanna know how niggas die, niggas keep dissing. Boy, I don't get in that, I'm steady rapping up the chickens. I wanna hit the boot, but I'm stuck up in the trenches. I been that five, but I wanna sit so with me like I'm missing. Fucking hoes and kicking those, that's just how we living. She done popped the Adderall, now she say she miss me. She gon' pull her eat it all, only when she tissy. Run the circle around these hoes, treat them like a frisbee. Watch me. All right, so let's get right into it and uh, look at how you can achieve a sound like that. So the very first thing that we have right here is a Renaissance compressor on optical mode, a very slow attack, letting everything really pass through in it in an automatic release, smooth. I love the way the uh, R compressor just kind of just levels out everything in the very beginning, makes everything very manageable, very uh, tameable with the song. And we are adding just a little bit of gain. The output gain on the Renaissance compressor is very underrated. It sounds very good. So we, we started off with that a little bit. Not doing too much compressing. About 2 to 3 dB. And if by any chance y'all do want to use this template, I'm going to drop the link down below. If y'all want to grab it, y'all could do that. Uh, but let's move right into the next thing that we have right here. Which is the, just a very simple EQ. The Waves uh, Q10. Rolling off a low, low end, adding just a little bit of sparkle at the top to bring out the attenuation in the voice. I like how Boston Richie's voice sounds. It's not too deep. It's calm, but it has like this kind of like highness in it. This like this upper mids thing in it where it's, it's just unique. Everybody's voice is different, you know. So um, sometimes you want to use uh, the mid bass. You want to take out a little bit mid bass if you got a a deep, boomy voice, and sometimes you want to keep the mid bass if you don't have that problem. I feel like the mid bass uh, is a very important part of the vocal spectrum because it's like the feeling. You can't really necessarily hear the mid bass, but that's the that's the heartbeat, you know? Like, your heartbeat is made out of, like, mid bass sound, you know? So I think that's the most uh, crucial part when you EQ a vocal is to retain that, that spectrum right there, you know, handle it well. Don't cut out too much of it because you could lose the whole feeling of a vocal. And with a dark trap sound, kind of like how Boston Richie has it, you don't want to roll off too low end, too much low end because you don't want to have the vocal feeling very thin. You want to keep it very natural, to be honest. Keep it raw. Keep it relatable. And the next thing that we got right here is a uh, C4 to just control the vocal dynamically. And we just added back a little bit of the uh, mid bass right now. A little bit of the uh, feeling. Then we got a little bit of a couple of dB gain on the high band. Just to add a little bit of more presence and a little bit more contrast. I noticed that with this uh, Keep Dissing 2 uh, song by Boston Richie, That even though the whole song is dark, they did a really good job with contrast. Making the vocal in the middle sound bright. So sometimes you don't have to make a vocal sound brighter. If you make everything around it sound darker in contrast, I think contrast is it's a pretty important thing. And that's why the next plugin that we have right here is the CLA 76, but we're using it on Bluey. So with the Bluey, it gives a different type of saturation compared to the black one. The black one is pretty smooth, but the Bluey is more upbeat, eyes wide open and everything like that. Fastest release, just to, you know, notch off the peaks. And we're not doing too much with the compressor. We're only doing about 1 to 3 dB. We're not doing too much. So uh, the, the very next thing that we have right here is a de-esser. Uh, 
on the template if you guys do decide to get it you know we got everything labeled right here so we we do we use two de-essers i like to use two, two de-essers i don't want to put too much heavy lifting on just one of them so i use one right here like this and uh we have another de-esser right here which is doing about two to five dv so in combination together we shaping the tone with the de-essers it's not necessarily about taking away the s's because i want to keep it um the s's especially with a, a vocal like Boston Richie, well, the high mids is an important part of his voice. You know, the presence, the articulation, it's an important part of his voice. So you don't want to kill the dy dynamics of the S with a DS. Or you just want to shape the tone and have it sound as smooth. It should be not even noticeable, to be honest. Next thing that we got, our vox to add some meat, add some juice, add a little bit of weight to the vocal. Um... I'm using Arvox on every single mix right now. So it's a staple plugin. Amazing. With Arvox, we have a gate to take out the background noise, uh, the compression right here, not doing too much. And then lastly, the output gain, which is actually a limiter. So you can get a lot of different tones just with this right here. This doesn't just make it quieter. It's actually a, li a vocal limiter. So um, that's pretty interesting to know. And then the next thing that we got right here, is a plugin that I didn't really know about until recently, but I'm using it right now, and it's included in the Waves Gold Bundle. If y'all go check it out, it's a replica of the Neve EQ by Waves. So, it's uh, first thing that we're using is a, a high, a high band right here. This is kind of like my air band, just cranking it at 15k hertz to bring out the air. Like I said, the contrast, the vocal kind of was bright. And it's very good. Uh, it's very good for the presence, and it's very good just to give the the vocal a little bit of air, a little bit of uh, airy feeling, making it feel bigger, making it feel huge. And the next thing that we have right here, a little bit of high mid boost to add more presence, add more emphasis. Then uh, we we left the low mids flat. Like I said, that's an important part for me. And we did a little uh, high pass roll off. Just to get rid of the uh, rumble, the, the deepness, all that stuff that we don't really need as cluttering out the vocal. Now, the next thing that we have right here I want to talk to you guys about is I have a vocal dirt bus. So, in the very beginning, when I used to record people, um, I realized something very important. That you can't make a vocal sound perfect because it's not very relatable. You know, like, it has to have some realness to it, some grittiness to it, you know. So what we have right here is a dirt bus. Very first thing that I have is a deesser because we run it right into a sans amp, which is, I think, a very good way to add some grit, add some meanness to a vocal. I'm going to play it with it and without it just so y'all can hear it. Yo, that's just how we living. She done pop the Adderall. Now she say she miss me. She gon' pull her eat it all. Only when she tipsy. Run the circle around these hoes. Treat them like a frisbee. Why the fuck the IG hoes? Always tryna tempt me. Damn, I swear I hate a bitch who just want all the attention. Bitch, you trippin', I got enough cheese, I can buy a Richie. I told my dog don't pop no more, them niggas be in their feelings. I'm tryna fly at the turn. And I really just love how the DS -er is working with the Sans app. It's kind of giving a little pump, a little bit of feeling to it. You know, a little bit of a bite, snap to it. And then we finish it off with a little EQ just so it's not doing too much. Now, uh, the parallel compression is pretty basic. Just a regular 1176. Nothing too special. But we have it on Blackie. And I feel like it, it really uh, contributed to the darkness of the vocal. And next thing we have is just a regular R verb, a large dark church. Making the vocal feel massive. And then thrown right into the side of a, a, a R verb plate. So after that, pretty much, there's nothing really going on too crazy. It's pretty simple. Anybody can use this template and be sounding amazing. So um, I just want to say thank you guys for watching the video. If you got any more comments, likes, or suggestions down below, let me know. I really appreciate it now. Thank you. I blew that shit, but changed stingy. You can slide around with boxes and they go talk different. Every time I turn around, they say I am missing. Wanna know how niggas die, niggas keep dissing. But I don't get in that, I'm steady rapping up the chickens. I wanna hit the boot, but I'm stuck up in the trenches. I bring that fire, but I wanna sit so with me like I'm nissing. Fucking hoes and kicking those, that's just how we living.
she done popped the Adderall Now she say she miss me, she gon' pull her eat it all Only when she tipsy, run the circle around these hoes Treat them like a frisbee, why the fuck the IG hoes? Always tryna tempt me, damn I swear I hate a bitch with that one all the attention Bitch you trippin', I got enough cheese, I can buy a Richie I told my dog don't pop no more, them niggas be in their feelings I'm tryna fly her at the turf, but this bitch stay be trippin' You know I left her feelin' hurt and she can feel the tension Tired of putting niggas on and they don't do no with it I'm tired of niggas saying they on but they ain't never spinning I'm tired of bitches shaking the egg and man when I don't hit it I blew that shit but changed stingy You can slide around with boxing if your top different Every time I turn around they say I eye missing Wanna know how niggas die niggas keep dissing Boy I don't get in that I'm steady rapping up the chickens I wanna hit the boot but I'm stuck up in the trenches I been that five but I wanna sit so with me like I'm nissing Fuckin' hoes and kickin' those, that's just how we living